welcome to Apprentice Effects, the show that keeps you up to date on everything in and around New Milford. I'm your host, Erin Shaughnessy, here with an update for the week of May 2nd. We are happy to report that the drug Take Back Day, hosted at New Milford Hospital this past weekend, was a big success. Approximately 175 to 200 pounds of unused prescription drugs were brought in by community members from their homes. This is an important step that everyone can take to reduce drug abuse in our community. Through a generous donation of funding from the Rotary Club of New Milford, we are working with the police department to purchase a permanent drug take-back box to be located at the police station for community members very shortly. The youth agency is taking a trip to Yukon School of Law in Hartford on Thursday, May 22nd, to join other students from around Connecticut to learn about and discuss issues concerning civil and human rights. Any New Milford student who is concerned with school-related issues such as bullying, online harassment, and diversity should contact Stacy for more information. It is a school day and arrangements will be determined soon. This year's bike day is June 7th. Although we have a great selection of bikes to give to the children in need, we can still use BMX or other youth bikes in excellent condition. If your child recently outgrew their bike and you would like, to go, like it to go to a good home, please contact Stacy at youthagency.org. And now, over to Austin with your newscast. Hello, Austin Hengel here for the Apprentice Specs newscast. As the teams have started their games, we have been taking account. This past Tuesday the 29th, the boys varsity lacrosse team beat Trimble in a game 8-7. This brings their overall standings to a 6-2. This holds them ranked 8th in the state. The varsity track and field team came out on top against Lowellton Hall this past Monday, having beaten them by 76 points, holding their standings at 1-0. Last for this week, I am glad to report that the girls varsity softball team beat New Fairfield 6-2 this past Monday, which holds their overall standings at 5-5 and are ranked 25th in the state. Have you ever thought of the possibility to upload your consciousness into a computer? The possibility has definitely been thought of since that was the baseline for the recent movie Transcendence. Starring Johnny Depp, Rebecca Hall, Paul Bettany, Cole Hauser, Kate Mara, and Morgan Freeman. Dr. Will Caster, played by Depp, is at the foremost research in the technology of combining everything ever known based through computers and the full range of human emotions. Although his brain is remarkable and his technology is even more so, he ends up suffering from a deadly illness due to an assassination attempt. Although his work is extremely controversial, it is decided to upload his consciousness into his work to continue living. As it works remarkably, Dr. Castor becomes more knowledgeable and quite frankly, dangerous. Go on over to Bank Street Theater to see what happens for yourself. Over on Rotten Tomatoes, the critics still seem a bit off, giving Transcendence a rotten 18%, but the audience gave it a low blow at 44%, so I don't think the critics were as off as I originally thought. Even with the low ratings, the movie made $18.4 million in its opening weekend. So, it must not have been that bad, but you can make that decision on your own. This has been Austin Hengel. I will see you next week. And now we go on over to Aaron for your pop culture update. Have you ever heard of the show Face Off? If not, it's a reality television competition series on the Sci-Fi Channel where 15 makeup effects artists compete against each other to create the best makeup. Each week, the artists face a spotlight challenge that tests their artistry and techniques to create a full makeup character to match a theme over the course of three days. This past season was the best one yet, and the most exciting part of it was the fact that a contestant on the show was a native from Litchfield, Connecticut. His name is Tyler Green, and week after week he created incredible makeups that can be argued to be some of the best that have ever been featured on the show. He made it all the way to the finale, but came in second place, but was a pleasure to watch all season. We're confident that he could become one of the next big names in movie makeup, and we're excited to see where he goes now that his journey on Face Off has come to an end. If you missed this season, tune in this July for more makeup magic. Good luck to Tyler. We can't wait to see what you do next. This has been Aaron Shaughnessy, and thanks for watching. See you next week on Apprentice Effects.